great men are not always wise. So it says, great men, all the men are not always wise. Case in front. Turn around. Turn around. Look. That's not what the moment is. question was, do the good suffer for the bad? Give me Mark 10 and 18. I'm going to show you what, what the Bible says about that. Bring it out. Mark chapter 10, verse 18. Bring it out. The book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 18. And Jesus said unto him, Why call this thou me good? There is not good but what? So the Bible says there is none good but one. Read. That is God. God is the only one that's good. So I'm going to show you what's good. Give me Romans 7 and 12. Let's see what good is and let's see if, if the good suffered. If, the, if there's any good, really. Uh, Romans 7 and 12, read. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. What for? The law, is, the law is holy. And the commandments holy. And just and good. So if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you're not good. Right. Give me Daniel 9 and 11. Let's see if Israel was good or not. Bring it up. To understand, to understand if, the, if there's anybody that's suffering that shouldn't be suffering of our people. Daniel 9 and 11. Bring Come it on. out. Come on. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Uh -huh. Yay! All Israel have transgressed thy love. It says all Israel, all 12 tribes, the blacks, the Hispanics, and Native Americans, all of us transgressed God's law. Read. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. So the curse was poured upon us because all Israel disobeyed God. We transgressed his law. Right. Read 1 John 3 and 4. Let's see what transgression is. Bring it out. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. It's a good question, bro. All crazy. The, the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh-huh. transgression of the law. All Israel sinned. We broke the commandments. All 12 tribes. That's why we went into slavery. So now, how you doing, my brother? What's your name? Sober. Who? Sober. Sober? How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Henry. Henry? Henry. Nice to meet y'all. Let me call you out. What you got? So you know how... Uh-huh. Go back to Daniel 9 and 11. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Uh -huh. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. In the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. So in the oath that is written in the law of Moses, talking about Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, if you are going to call yourself an Israelite, you have to fit all those curses in Deuteronomy 28. Read on. Let's see. Because we have sinned against him, uh -huh. and he had confirmed his word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil. Uh -huh. For under the whole heaven had not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So it says this great evil that was done to us has not been done under the whole earth. So no, the, the Holocaust is nothing compared to the transatlantic slave trade. It's nothing compared to the South Saharan slave trade. There's nothing compared to them coming over here and killing the Native Americans. 100 million Native Americans were slaughtered when they came over here. Break it out. 7 million of your brothers and sisters died on them slave ships when they came over here. Bring it out. Yes, 
so-called Jewish man that died in the Holocaust, he still know his last name. Bring it you got your slave master's last name. Bring it out. That has not been done to anybody else but your people. T. Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. T. You are the children of Israel, and nobody else can claim that but you. That's right. 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 You fit this book. You are the people of the book. That's right. right. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Let's see. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 32. Let's see if the Jewish man fit this or not. Read it Deuteronomy 28, 32. Come on, The bro. book of Ju Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fall with legend for them all the day long. When we were on those auction blocks, they broke up families. Bring it out. They would sell your mama to somebody in Virginia. They would sell your daddy to somebody in South Carolina. You'd be still here out. in Louisiana with no parents. Bro. That didn't happen to nobody else. There it is. That still happens today. It's right. called Child Protective Services. They can, they can deem you as a unfit parent and come take your children and right. you can't do nothing about it. Bring right. it out. And there shall be no might in thy hand. We have no military might. Read. The fruit of thy land and all that thy labor. You know what? Go right there. Give me verse 37. Watch this. So let's see if the Jewish man fits this or not. Read. Verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. A proverb and a byword. A proverb is a wise saying against you, like a stereotype. They say if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. What proverb do they have against the Jewish man? It says it will become a byword. Being called a nigga, that's a byword. Being called African American is a byword. Being called anything other than an Israelite is a byword. That ain't happened to the so-called Jewish man. Read. Oh no! All nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. It don't matter if you're here in America or if you're in, in Africa. In Africa, they call you a kata. You know what a kata is? It's a cotton picker. So you're not African. They hate your guts too. Read. Thou shall carry much seed out into the field, and thou shall gather but little in. They say we were carrying much seed out into the field, meaning we was out there working in those fields, and we would gather little in. Right. We ain't get the, we ain't get the benefits of that. You ever heard of Haynes? Haynes, cotton, Haynes clothing line? They got a slogan called, cotton is the fabric of our lives. Did you hear You pick that cotton. All these banks out here, hang up with me. All these banks, they were built on slave money. The banking system was established on old slave money. That's right. money that they made off of your poor fathers whooping their backs while they was out there picking cotton from them. Can't see the can't see. Dying out there in the field and just, okay, we're going to throw their body to the side and keep working. That happened to your people. That ain't happened to nobody else. Right. Give me verse uh, 48. Bring it out. This. Let's see if this happened to the Jewish man. Verse 48. Verse 48. The fuck shut down serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So it says they will serve their enemies, which the Lord sent against them. Read. In hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. So in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. Your food, clothing, and water all come from other nations. Who owns the, 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 the diamond food, my wife? Right that ain't happened to the Jewish man. Read. And, and one of all things. And one of all things. Your education. Your religion. Your jobs. You got to go to your enemies for that. Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. When have you ever seen a so-called Jewish man with yokes of iron on their neck, with chains on their neck? That ain't happened to the Jewish man. That happened to your folk fathers. That's right. right. That happened to the Native Americans. That happened right. to the Hispanics. That happened right. to the blacks. Right. That ain't happened to nobody else. You are the children of Israel. You are God's chosen people. There Give me verse 68. Let's see if this happened to the Jewish man. Bring it Let's out. The Holocaust was like this. Because remember, you got to put these curses. Because they said these curses will be upon the children of Israel for a sign and a 
wonder. A sign indicates where we at. You know we're on Dominant Drive because of these signs, right? What you think the was it in? Raymond? Raymond, you know we're on Dominant Drive because of the signs, right? It's Dominant and Dwight, that's how we know we're on this corner, right? That sign, because it indicates something, right? Read verse 46. Bring it out! Deuteronomy 28 and 46. They're talking about the curse of Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So a sign indicates what something is. Have you ever wondered why black people at the bottom of society, why we always living in the ghettos, why we in the projects, why we the ones killing each other? You ever wonder that? Why drugs are high in our community? You ever think about that? Like, why we can't ever get over? Why we can't overcome like they always talk about? How come we had to fight for civil rights? You ever wonder those things? The curse is Say the, the, the Bible says the curse is be upon you for you sign it again. Everybody in? There it is. Push for the eight. Therefore, shut thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. We served our enemies in slavery. We were their servants. We still serve our enemies today, but I have to go to their job. Bring it out. In hunger. And in thirst. Uh-huh. And in nakedness. Uh-huh. And in want of all things. Uh-huh. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So, if you ever, if any of y'all ever had a dog or owned a dog, put that dog on the leash until you break that dog, right? Then you take the leash off, that dog is only going, still only going to go as far as that leash because that's all it's been conditioned to do. Why they shooting you down in the street? Why they killing you? Why they putting drugs in your community? Bring it up! But we don't think about that because we've been conditioned to love them no matter what. We've been trained. That's what it means when it says they put a yoke of iron on that nigga until they destroyed us. We've been mentally and spiritually destroyed. Give me verse 68. I just want to show you who the children of Israel truly are. Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word Egypt in the Bible, it means slavery. Because when the Israelites were in Egypt, they were in slavery. It's actually a Greek word that means bondage. You're supposed to get to have fun. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And thou ye shall be so unto your enemies. So read it from the top again. And the Lord shall break thee into Egypt again with ships. So it says we're going to slavery again on ships. This happened to our people. This didn't happen to the so-called Jewish man. Bring it on. the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. This, this type of slave trade would never happen again. You will never see our homeland again as a people. Read. And that you should be sold unto your enemies for five men and five women. And no man shall buy you. It says to be sold. A cargo of 94 prime mm -hmm. healthy Negroes. It don't say Jewish man. It says Negroes. It talks about you. That's Bible prophecy. Your history is Bible prophecy. Bring it on! You are the children of Israel. This is your book. Right. All right. Give me Romans 8, 16. Bring it out. Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Bring it out! The book of Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So the Spirit is the Bible. It says the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. We fit the curses in Deuteronomy. 28. The Bible from beginning to end is talking about us. Right. The Bible is true black history. This is the blackest book on the planet. Right. The front cover to the end. Right. Matter of fact, let me show y'all that. Give me Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Bring it on. I'm going to get you up. Matter of fact, hold on. Hold on with that. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 5. I'm going to show y'all what the Most High God says. Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. Bring it on. Teach! Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 5. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. So what y'all doing right now, this is better than everything else that's going on. It's better to hear the rebuke of the wise. Read. Therefore, amen, to hear the Son of Fools. 
it's better for y'all to be over here listening to the Bible come out than being over there across the street listening to the song of the fool. Read. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. Read. This also is vanity. So all that means nothing. The laughter of fools means nothing. Right. The songs of fools mean nothing. Read. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. It says surely oppression make it a wise man mad. You see all these men in purple? These are wise men. We got mad. And instead of going and grabbing a gun and doing something stupid, we repented and we Bring started the commandments of God. Right. This is the only way you're going to change. Bring it up. This is the only way you're going to change your situation. Our older men have failed us. Bring it Everybody on the corner is now just getting drunk, listening to music. Bring it on! Nothing for us anymore. Right. It's high time to draw a change. Matter of fact, give me Psalms 119, 109. Bring it on! Oh. Psalms, Psalms 119 and verse 9. Psalms 119, verse 9. Read that. The book of Psalms. Chapter 119, verse 9. Bring it out. What which shall a young man cleanse his way? So where which shall a young man cleanse his way? It's because most high is looking for young men. Read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So by taking heed according to the word, repentance is how y'all gonna change your ways. Psalms 19 and 7. Bring it out. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. This is what we are here to teach. We are here to teach our nationality, our true nationality to our, to our people, because we've been lied to for 450 years. Right. And we also are here to teach repentance. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The law of the Most High God is how you change your community. Right. Sunday is not the day of the Lord. The Sabbath day is Saturday. Today is the day of the Lord. That's, That's your right. first mistake, going to church on the Sunday. You need to humble down and listen to the word of God, and you'll get some understanding. Right. Matter of fact, give me that. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. You have no understanding. Matter of fact, give me Job 32 and 7. Give me Job 32 and 7. Bring it up. All the men think they have understanding, but they don't know a damn thing that's going on in the Bible. They don't know nothing about their community. All they know how to do is get drunk and be a clown out here. Read. The book of Job, chapter 32, verse 7. Bring it up. I say, they should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. These older men should be out here teaching wisdom, right. not teaching us to get drunk and be out, 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 out here on the corners early in the morning doing nothing with our lives. Bring it up. The Bible says you should teach wisdom. Read it again. Bring it up. I say, they should speak, and the multitude of years should teach wisdom. Read. But there is a spirit in man, and in this inspiration of the Almighty. So there's a spirit in man. There should be a spirit in you that you want to do this, that you want to keep these commandments. Read. In the inspiration of the Almighty, giving them understanding. Uh huh. Great men are not always wise. So it says, great men, all the men are not always wise. Case in point. Turn around. Turn around. Look. That's not what. Bring it out. It's high time we wake up and come back to who we are. It's later for all that foolishness over there. Romans 13, 11. Bring it out. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time we wake the hell up out of our sleep. We have been asleep for far too long. We have been asleep for far too long. Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. Let me show y'all something about the Bible. I'm going to show y'all the Bible, the true book, right now, right now with this example. Bring it up. Isaiah 51 and 20. Read Bring it up. It. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 20. Bring it up. sons have fainted. It says our sons have fainted. We are asleep. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. The head of all the streets is the street corners. Where they at? They're on the corner, asleep. Right. In their wickedness. In their drunkenness. Acting like children. Acting like little kids. Matter of fact, give me that. Luke. Give me Luke 731. Bring it out. All praises to the most high. I'm going to bring this out and you come back up, son. Hey. 
Luke chapter, chapter 7, verse 31. Bring it out. The book of Luke chapter 7, verse 31. And the Lord said, Well, unto this shall I liken the men of this generation. So the Most High God is asking the question, What is he going to compare the men of this generation to? Read. And to what are they like? They are like unto children. They like unto children, little kids. Read. Sitting in the marketplace. Sitting in the marketplace, right here at Diamond Market. Right. Diamond Discount Market. In the marketplace. And calling one to another. And say, We have piped unto you. And we have not done. We have piped unto you. We stay music unto you. And y'all ain't dancing. Y'all ain't dancing to our music. That's exactly what's going on right now. Bring that it is out. Them. The Bible's talking about them right here today. Right. This book is relevant to your life today. That's right. right. It's time y'all change. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.